morning guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to see the part 2 of the landscape modeling tutorial in the part 1 we have seen how to make our own 3d models how to construct on our own but today in the part 2 we are going to see what and all parts we can easily import from any websites which i'll be specifying so now let's get started so this is a 3d model we created this is a 3d model we created in the dialogues evo which purely is by using the extrusion volumes the built-in uh, objects of the dialogues if you're watching this tutorial for the first time let me tell you this is a landscape of a residence okay and uh, in my previous video i have even shared the link from where you can get this the autocad file so basically we have uh, entry from here this side uh, this areas with these kind of hatches is the deck area these are the planters this is the pathway the square box is what you see this is a la these are plants a landscape with the trees this is a water body which is going from here to here and this is a wall dividing it and these are some of the sculptures outdoor sculptures this is just a lawn nothing much here and when you're going here you have steps and you go on the second part of this one when you have a some building and a swimming pool so this is a part we already constructed here only by using the dialogues 3d models or the extrusion volumes the first thing in the landscape are the trees so we are going to see from where we can get 3d models of the trees which are good which which look more realistic and which are of low mb so you know so you guys already know if you're working in the dialogues you can't import too much of 3d models with high poly size because at the end you feel difficulty in calculating the time consumption and sometimes even your file get, may get closed so let's see from where we can get the 3d models of the plants and trees the first side here is the archive 3d okay when you can go for uh, you can find different models of the trees and plants they are more realistic and also are high mb some are high mb but if you have some patience and you can search okay what is the poly size then you may find you may find some plants with low poly as well like suppose i have chosen here this plant section and if you want to know where do i check the 3d size just click on one any one and here it will be displaying you the size it is 12.86 mb that's huge we are looking for some 3d models in between 1 to 2 mb or max 5 mb so you can select like this and just see if the size matches your requirement if you have very good specs system or the laptop you can go with uh, something more than 5 mb but still you have to keep it limited so that you don't end up increasing the calculation time okay so these models look more realistic nice 3d model but huge poly size and huge size so i usually prefer 3d warehouse when uh, you i usually prefer 3d warehouse when uh, you get 3d models and in low poly size so this is a 3d warehouse website i'm going to type tree the best thing about the 3d warehouse is you can set the file size and you can set the poly size so you know it is easy for searching as not of wasting your time checking each file size so i'm going to decrease the size maybe up to 6 mb and i'm going to check in models my personal favorite is this is this 3d model because you know it's it's just of 103 kb not even mb polygon size is less it may seem like a 2d model but it gives the effect of a 3d so we are going to download this in the lowest sketchup version possible 
To use the 3D warehouse models in your dialogs, you need to have installed the SketchUp. <clears throat> you can directly get this software in their website. 30 days, uh, you have a free trial. After that, you have to, you know, just pay and get it. But still, you have 30 days. So you can make use of it. Download the 3D models and keep it. So whenever you need, you can refer it. So once it is downloaded, you get on a click, it gets open. And this is how my 3D model is looking. This is a, a tool to zoom it. And this one is to rotate. Just select on this one. It is already in group. File, export, 3D model. And you can save it in your destination folder. So I will save it in the desktop, naming it as tree export. And yes, it is done. It is exported. So I'm going back to my dialogs. And here are the other trees I want here and here and maybe here too. And that's it. So once it is exported into 3D model, go to file, import, furniture file and here is the tree double click and it will be placed in dialogs zoom all and you can see this 3d model is quite you know large in scale compared to the 3d model of your dialogs because the scale is different so all you can do is just scale it manually like this so it gets eventually scale or you can do it from here also Go to the plan, zoom extends, select and move it to wherever the position you require. Zoom all, go to the 3D model, zoom all and this is here where it is placed. So here you can see some uh, texture is appearing as a black and here you have proper texture. So there's not an issue because when you are rendering, you have only the 2D image. This is not an issue because I have used this 3D model before also and uh, when you are rendering it, it seems proper. So what you can do is just rotate it and make sure that black part is not visible. How you are going to do is just go to the plan view and I'm going to rotate it like this here. Done. Zoom all and you can see this. Because when I'm even, uh, you know, setting the scenes, if you wanted to reduce the size, you can reduce it more. Maybe this can go well. Yes. So similarly, I'm going to place the other 3D models of trees.
some trees I have randomly increased the height so that you know it doesn't look even because in general you have some trees to be you know wider some to be taller if it's not of same species so we have done with the plants and now it's look now it looks much better the th the second thing we are going to do is we are going to import some of the plants here because we have done with the trees now we have some plants left then we may have some flower pots here and sculpture so we will be done maximum part of the 3d models and the most importantly at last we are going to see the water body so make sure you watch this video till the end now let's go and search some 3d models for the plants so go to the 3d warehouse again so this is a 3d model i felt will go well with the uh, project i'm making this is of the landscape so it's of 3 mb um but yeah it is good so i want to use this one if you want to use something else you can use it but make sure it doesn't have any missing parts so download in the lowest possible version possible so here i don't want the pot and i just want the leaves so i'm going to explode it right click and explore it will get exploded explode in the sense the parts will get different so this is the part we require here also you can explode it if you really require to or else you can just leave it so once you remove the pot just zoom all so now you have only the leaves part file export 3d model save on the place you require it and name it plant enter so it is getting exported it is taking a little more time to export it because it's of high model high mb model it's it's of 3 mb okay it is exported now we are going to import it in the dialogs file import furniture file and we have our plant here it's quite huge so we are going to scale it So we have placed our plant model but uh, I feel when you are even seeing on this one it have some it, it is seeming like a missing texture and has some shiny green material but we want something uh, opaque not transparent so we'll just go and give some texture to this. I'm going to go for the cat color catalog green and here you have leaf green double click on it to get it selected and replace the material. So you have this perfect plant model here. So place the same on the different positions you require.
going to just decrease the size of this side of plants because I don't want this much high. So maybe I can go for little less. Go to the side view and set the positions properly. Yeah, I think this looks much better for me for this area. You can have bigger ones but I feel this is okay because you have a sitting here area here you have a wall here and maybe you're going to have some sculptures here so this is fine for now here if you need you can increase it but this is okay for you oh we forgot to change the texture for this this area so we are going to give it replace yes done now we have done with the trees and uh, we are done with the plants we shall go see some sculptures so 3d warehouse sculpture so these are the various uh, sculptures uh, available in the 3d house door 3d warehouse so i want outdoor sculpture so i can directly write outdoor sculpture here you can go with some abstract shape like this modern sculpture or you can go with something so we'll select this one now download 2017 okay so file export 3d model desktop sculpture okay let's go and check it out whether it has some got it has got some missing textures so file import furniture file sculpture hopefully it it doesn't have much yeah it doesn't have much uh, missing textures but we are going to scale it you can do it manually or for now we'll just do it here so at 40 so i'll make it 0.4 it's 0.2 and it's 0.7 zoom all so here it is I gave this scaling um, on assumptions okay but you can scale it as per your project first to just reduce the size you can give it a uh, little less numbers and then you can scale it so this is a 3d model Want to increase the height you can increase it you can ha have different types of 3d models also because it's just a sculpture you can have anything So yes, we are done with the sculptures, we have done with the plants and the trees. The left out part is just of flower pots and the water bodies. For the flower pots, what we can have is, they have shown us rectangular boxes and inside we have plants. So we'll create the rectangular boxes, those that 
that means that we are going to create a pot and the plant we are going to import it so how we are going to create a pot is super easy just draw extrusion body close polygon and here we have defined the height maybe it's of 0.5 or 0.6 meters we'll keep it as 0.6 meters draw another extrusion volume placing the showing the inside uh, of the planter box go to the side view so this is my planter box one and this is the extrusion body which i have drawn i'm going to select both with the help of the shift key go to the copy and arrange in the separate command so whatever is shown in the pink part is what you get after it is subtracted so this is the difference so this is the part i want to separate and it is highlighted and i'm going to use subtract yes we are done so this is a planter box i can you know reduce the height maybe 0.4 or 0.5 give the texture to it replace material and some green so I'm going to copy and paste the same pot over here where the position showed in the CAD file. So select Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So we are done with the flower pots. We are going to import some plant in this one which has a flower in it so i've already choose the one so i feel this will go well and it is of flow mb so we're going to download it all the 3d models which i'm going to use in this the uh, landscape uh, file i will share the links in the description box of the youtube channel so please check it and it will be easy for you so once you download it um, save it in one specific folder so whenever you require it you can use it from there so I have this uh, plant with the flowers, export 3D model, flower plant, landscape looks incomplete with the flowers, right, so let's have some flowers in it, file, import furniture file and um, here is the flower plant. Oh, that's quite huge again scale it manually or if you are good in SketchUp make your own 3d models scale it as per the drawing so here is this looks more nice yes we are going to have copy and other plants boxes also now just copy and paste so flower pots looks nice we have done with the trees we have done with the sculptures and the left out and the most important part is of the water body so when it comes to the water body you have to use the 3d model shown in the project if it is simple make it on your own like this one which i made on my own it looks like a water falling from here a plain waterfall so you can check my previous video on how i made this it's quite simple it is just an extrusion volume and a simple technique of applying the texture properly so this this looks nice it's of low mb because it is created with the dialux model but here we can't create it on our server because it's so because if you see the so the water body which i have selected is this one it is just of 1 mb it looks dull here maybe but you know it has let's check this out view it see on the 3d model okay so from here itself you can see it has some pots in the wall and from there the water is falling so this is what I like so I'm going to import the same download it and most importantly it's of only 1 MB file export 3d model 
and export it. So my 3D model is exported. I'm going to import it. Go to file, import, furniture file, fountain. So this is a water body. Select it. Select it and scale it. have to scale it more so it matches the height of the wall yeah perfect make sure you place it properly so that when you are doing lighting it doesn't seem like two different parts and some shadows created not necessary shadows okay so this is beautiful we are going to apply some texture to this one yeah we have applied the texture texture also you can decide on uh, whatever uh, shown in your uh, architects 3d reference images or the models now this water is falling here and I want some water to be here so I'm going to do it with the help of extrusion volume draw extrusion volume so I have finished placing the water body also if you want you can have the same texture of water from here and here let's see what looks better so i'm going to select the same texture so this looks much better so it is continuing over here so yes we are done we have a waterfall we have a nice landscape we have plants we have trees and we have a sculpture so maximum part of our 3d model is done okay and this building you have to create uh, as it's shown in your 3d model for now i feel it's looking more plain so i'm going to have a you know some kind of abstract shape of a roof so it just creates some drama to my landscape so i'm going to do that by using this roof um maybe this one go to the story yeah perfect maybe a little darker yes done uh, so this one guys I'm just making on my own so I have you know I'm doing whatever looks good in this 3d model but you have to follow what the architect has specified so so yes we have done with the 3d model so this is guys this is a 3d modeling of the landscape and in the part two we have seen what are the different 3d models you can uh, you know download and import in the dialogs evo in the lowest possible file size and this is the output of what we have created today the links to download this 3d models i will share in the description and in the part 3 that is the final part we are going to the landscape lighting so hope you found this video helpful if you did please do subscribe my channel like this video and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you